Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you how you can use progress lines to indicate where you're at on your Gantt chart. So I've got a small project plan here, just a few tasks, 30 days in duration. And if I go into the Gantt chart format tab, and then where it says grid lines, in there is where you get your progress lines from. So open that box and then you've got a few different options. So you can actually physically type a date in there. Let's have a look at that one. So if I type in there the 25th of May and then click OK, you get the 25th of May and then none of these tasks are complete. So if I go back to the task tab and make some of them complete, you can see the progress line on that one because I've made it 100% complete is straight. So ideally, if you had a straight line, that would mean everything would be either on target or complete up to the date that it should be. If I just go back a bit, 50%, you can see it now drags back in. If I go back into the progress lines, what you can also do is if you go into the line styles, you can change how the styles appear different options obviously colors lines all of these things you can change but this is quite a useful feature show the date for each progress line if I click OK to that so that's the date that I chose today's date not today's date next week that's now sitting there now if I go back into the progress lines and pick a different option because there's several options you've got in there I've got back onto this one so let's say I don't want to display that date. In fact, I'll delete it altogether. So just click away and press delete to get rid of that. Don't want that. I want to display as per the project status date. Now, I haven't actually set a status date, but let's see what happens. It's telling me that's not being set. So it uses a current date. So that's today's date. So it's doing the same sort of thing. And again, if I increase the percentage complete on one of these you get the straight line bit there on the progress line which is great put that back to 50 percent now if i go back into the progress line again the other option you've got in there if i take that tick off you've got the option to put this on at an interval weekly daily or monthly so i've got this on weekly at the minute every monday if i drop this arrow down you've got options in there to change when you want this to appear so if I click OK to that one because I've got the dates on and this project started a few weeks ago you can see each progress line with a date on top of it I quite like that to be honest so that's going to do that all the way through on every Monday as you go forward in time like so I suppose if I push the project start date back again to the second okay so now I get I get another progress line there. There's no task starting there. And you see how that works. That's because that one's already been completed. If I go back to zero, and then it all drops back to that first one. It doesn't look great when you've got delayed tasks like this. It can be very ugly to look at. You've got the option to zoom in and out, obviously, down the bottom there. I don't think it makes it look any better when you've got delayed tasks no matter what that looks even worse to me so it's it's the case of i think putting them on printing it off or giving the information to somebody and then maybe taking them off or don't have too many on one every week is a bit up for the top and like i said already if you're 100 percent on all your tasks your progress line is almost straight well it will be straight is straight now so that's just a quick look at how you can use progress lines to let people know how how you're doing on your gantt chart so hopefully that little video was of use to you thank you for your time and i'll see you on the next one